Hello everyone, as always it is Andrew with MAO Magic and today I am here with the Parrot Flower Power which is uh, it's most recently been seen on the Apple commercials but it's basically a Bluetooth measurement system to help you take care of your flowers. It works indoors or outdoors so regardless of whether you've got some potted plants inside, outside or your garden itself, this should take care of that for you. So it has some really, I guess you could call it cute packaging here with a little sign, a little potted plant, everything here. You have the Power to Your Plant seed packet, which has nothing more than the instructions inside, but still uh, it's a decent use for packaging here. You'll know Parrot from the company who makes like the drones and like the quadcopters and stuff like those. And for some reason, they decided to make the Flower Power and it's become increasingly popular. So we are going to let you know whether or not you should buy it. So it has a lot of sensors and stuff built into it, but basically it's just going to help you measure uh, how your plants are doing and hopefully allow you to not kill them. So if you are bad at taking care of plants, maybe this is something for you. So it's a little bit of a pain to get out of here, but I'm sure we can figure it out. Now the battery is going to be nothing more than a AAA. It should last you about six months. Hopefully it will allow you to, it does give you like the, the levels of battery in the app. So you should be able to monitor that and replace it when necessary. Obviously you can see there are a lot of little sensors going on here in the actual parrot flower power itself this is going to just plunge into the dirt next to your uh, favorite plants it does give you kind of the option to move it amongst different plants and then just lets you it'll know in the app that you moved it and then it'll ask you are you monitoring a different one and what plant it is that you're monitoring because you can actually keep like a database of all the flowers that you want to pull up information on and the app is actually exceptional at um, pulling up flower information. It's got a database of uh, seven, 10,000 flowers in it, which is really quite good. And it gives you a ton of information on the flowers themselves. Obviously here, the, uh, the battery is going to go in with the positive terminal down. If you can see by the diagram, it's not too difficult. Put the battery in, twist the top back on and it does have to be watertight because this is for outdoors or indoor and you are going to be watering. It's going to be raining, that kind of stuff. So you will need to make sure that that is on and well sealed because you don't want to ruin your kind of expensive little device here. Now this measures a lot of different things from your flower. So it's going to measure stuff like the, the light to your flower. It's going to measure the fertilizer in your the soil it's going to measure the temperature above and below ground it's going to measure uh, how much you've watered your flower and it's going to give you a lot of notifications about that type of stuff so we're going to go ahead and download the app we're going to open it and we're going to allow it to give me notifications so i know when to water my my flowers so you're going to sign up or sign in this is your uh you know first flower power here we're going to go ahead and sign up we're going to make sure we can give it access to our location for for some reason, uh, we're gonna go ahead and go through all of the rest of the steps here. We put it into the plant, you're gonna put the battery in, turn it on, it's gonna blink green, and then you're gonna pair it with your phone. So the first time I did this, I got a nice little notification that it has an update available. So we're gonna go ahead and uh, look some of the basic stuff here, but we are going to do the update. So we're gonna say this is, this is gonna be an outdoor plant. We're gonna have this out on the patio. We're gonna choose a nickname for the plant. So I'm gonna I'm gonna put it in basil. Cooking a lot, I have a lot of herbs. So we're gonna go ahead and choose basil. And it does give you not just one time, but like 20 different kinds of basil. And I do have a sweet basil plant. So that's what we're gonna choose. It gives you a ton of information, photos, uh, descriptions, how much water, how much sunlight, and all the other information that's going to be very relevant for you taking care of this plant. It actually, well, actually a lot more than I thought it would. I thought it would be very kind of basic, but this is very specific data for the plants. Uh, I, I, I really didn't look through any of this though. And I am not particularly good with keeping plants alive. So we're gonna really see how this does. And it's in a pot and it's outdoors, all set. We're gonna put it on the location so I know where the plant is. And we're gonna go ahead and do that update super quick here. And this actually did fail for me the first time, but uh, it wasn't a big deal. I just did it a second time, like quit the app, opened it back up, and it was good to go. It did take a few minutes. It seemed like the update was fairly large, but who knows how this thing was sitting along on a shelf before I bought it. So we're gonna go ahead and go through the update process, and we are all set. So once you're done, um, that's about it. There's not a lot to set up and it's not very complicated. Purely putting the battery in allows it to pair. Uh, it does have live mode so you can see exactly what's happening to your flower right now. I'm not sure why that is relevant. Um, 
particularly with stuff like water, like why do I need to know exactly what it is? You can see on like the, the historical chart how that's actually holding up. Now I go ahead and stick this to my pot here and it should be able to get the sunlight and everything else. Now this does do really well. So it has the, uh, it uses BLE, it's waterproof, six month battery life, indoor or outdoor. So it's gonna measure your soil. So it's gonna measure the uh, dielectric permittivity, which is gonna tell you how much water is in your soil. But I don't really have a conversion between <laughs> what this is telling me, okay, 20%. Is that good or is that bad? They should have a, you know, a converter between what it actually is and what it requires to really know if it's doing well. It has two thermistors, which is going to give you the temperature both in the air and in the soil, which is going to be very important to know. It's going to measure the sunlight and the electric conductivity, which is going to tell you how many ions are in the uh, soil, which means how much fertilizer you're going to need. Occasionally, it was kind of slow at connecting with BLE, so I wasn't actually getting real-time updates on whether or not my flowers were dead or not, but overall, it did well, and my flowers are still alive. So you guys, make sure you check it out. If you have questions, throw them up in the comments. Other than that, I will see you next time.